Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So you can see behind me, I don't know if you can, um, how well you can see it, but it's Jasmine, right? She's 61 inches, so she's basically five foot one, um, just a tiny bit shorter than I am. And I was really excited to make her because she's gonna be my life size. Um, <clears throat> but if you see on the image here, the pants were so long, I had to cut so many seams in the pants right here. So I'm determined now to remake her so that you can see side by side. You know, my point has always been, don't make something so big just to make it big. Although in this case, <laughs> I ate my own words. Um, I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do it. And really, I mean, if you look at her from this gold band up, she is flawless. So even at six, at, at those proportions for 61 inches, everything was seamless. Her hair wasn't seamless, but because we cut with the black glitter cardstock, you know, all the tricks that we, we know, we implemented. And from the gold band up, I mean, she was gorgeous. It was the pants, the, it was just too much, right? I mean, if you think about it, it's basically 30 inches. So it's a, it's normally what I would do off the mat and it's for her pants. So that's why it was so bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna redeem myself. I wanna put it side by side so that you could see. I, I don't know how big she's going to be and still be seamless, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that the pants are seamless and um, I'll put it side by side so that you can see, okay, do I do it at 40 inches and have her be completely beautiful and seamless? Or do I do it at 61 inches with all these seams that I felt I could not stop looking at her pants? <laughs> so, all right, so let's do this. Let's try 48 inches because all the other princesses, um, the toddler princess series that I did, I was able to do it at 48 inches and they looked amazing. So let's zoom out and see what we have here. So first thing is, really we know our problem area is this, right? So let's ungroup it and let's look at the pants. So we're gonna contour and we want to hide everything except for this one. No, this one. Where is that pant leg? Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. And then let's undo this one. Okay, so at 48 inches, this is 15 inches by seven. But, oops, hold on. Let me see if we can twist this around at all and still make it work. So let's go and click Arrange, send to the front, and let me see if we twist this at all, if it makes a difference. Oh, when it does, okay, let's see. Um, that's too long. Okay. So I can't really do much. <clears throat> it's too long. So let's undo it. Okay, there we go. And um, select all. And let's change this to 40 inches and see what we have. So at 40 inches, Okay, so we can definitely do this. Let's try, so select all. So the reason why I think we can do this, so this is six inches basically by 12.9, right? But I think if we twist it a little bit, see it's 9.5 by 10.7. So I still have some room here. So let's undo this really quickly. Select all. So she's up 40. Let's try 44. Do I want 44? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, 44 is good, let's see. So at 44, this might be too much. No, it looks like I can do 44, yep. At 44 inches, we can do it. It's 11.29 by 11.29. So let's undo this. All right. So she's gonna be 44 inches, okay? So let's save this project, save as Toddler Jasmine, 44 inches, seamless. <laughs> All right, so let's
let's go back and get this contour. Click hide all once, and then it'll let you click show all. And that's what we want to show all. All right, so this is going to be flawless at 44 inches compared to 61 inches. And just remember, 44 inches is sizable. My daughter is five and a half, or she'll be six in January, and um, she is 47 inches. So 44 inches at this <laughs> practically her size. Um, okay, so let's start moving things. Okay, so... We want to ungroup everything or unweld everything because like all the whites are together and I can't separate them, right? I can't ungroup them. The only way I can do this is if I slice things out. And I wanna slice it out because right now this image is, it's basically a five by five piece of glitter cardstock. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I can make it probably a three by three. So it's just every little bit counts because if you're using glitter cardstock, um, I save my, my scraps because it's expensive. And a lot of times, you know, it's like the eyes. I don't need a full sheet. I can get away with a smaller piece. So I do save my pieces. So there's the eye. Get rid of your slice results. You don't need that, right? So now here's all my white pieces. Let's do the next one. Here's the yellow. I'm gonna separate the bottom from the top. So you see how I, I'm using the same square. It has these cutouts. As long as I don't see the gold in these cutouts, then I know the gold is completely covered in my square. So I'm gonna grab the two items and I'm gonna slice. And there's my gold belt and whatever else. And that's pretty efficient. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bother separating it but I will separate out her little pendant right here and get rid of the slice results, right? So here's this, and then let's look at this headband. This headband's fine, okay. Um, next thing, all right, so this is her, her blue, let's attack that in a second. <laughs> That's a lot to attack. Here are her eyes, so let's get this down and separate that. And you see, I'm I'm in a lot of traffic right now, right? There's gold to my right, there's the blue to the left, but my cursor went straight down and only touched two items, the brown of the eyes and the square, so I'm able to slice. You can slice two things only at one time. So now my eyes are separated, and you see? So I'm gonna move that over here. Let's look at this. I'm gonna delete this square for now. I'm gonna bring in a new square I'm gonna separate the top from the bottom. So I'm just gonna make it really big, make sure it covers completely my bottom. And again, I'm gonna be in a lot of traffic here, but I'm gonna grab just the two items. Do you see how my cursor is barely grabbing that square? That's enough. And then you can let go and slice. So here's her top. Her top, I would probably separate that. Um, just to make it more efficient because I have so much of the of the pants to do later that yeah this is a lot of separating so let's just put it aside for now <laughs> I am not ready for her yet I was um it, it I was, it was such a struggle to put her together at 61 inches so I'm still having nightmares right now. Here are her lips. Let's separate out her um, her skin color items. So she's got the feet at the bottom. So let's separate each one of those. Then I'm going to move this over. I don't even know where that other foot is. Hold on. Okay, I put it right over it. Okay. And then let's separate this. So we don't need these two items. So you can just grab it and delete it. Here are her feet. Let's separate out this arm. Okay, so when I did her arm the last time, um, I welded this pinky to the fourth finger and 
I welded this little piece to one of these fingers. I didn't want to keep them separated. So I will do that this time as well because it's even worse this time. The pieces are even smaller. Um, let's see. I'm just going to, sorry, that was a lot of moving around for nothing. I'm going to slice out the arm into two pieces. So let's slice that just to get it out of the way. Okay, so we have this and we have this. This is actually fine dimension wise. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these two. Uh, don't ask me why I grabbed a circle. I usually like my squares. All right, let's separate this from this piece. As long as the piece that you're separating is completely covered by whatever shape you use, you're good. Okay, so we'll delete that. So now this is out. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little bit with the fingers, okay? And what I mean by see. So I'm gonna weld this and this. I'm gonna do that with a circle. I'm gonna unlock it so that I can change the shape and make it really small. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more so we can see what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's good. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, um, I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna move it to here so that I can get that together and make it smaller. And trust me, no one's gonna notice. All right, so let's weld that. So that that's one. Um, so we got rid of two pieces. I'm gonna keep this separated. This is fine, the arm is fine. Um, <clears throat> I also welded these two together. So let's get the circle and make it smaller. Okay, and then weld these two. All right, so let's zoom out for a second. Now, if you know me and you've watched my other videos, for the face, I like to make a duplicate copy and make it all black and cover up the holes. And so let's duplicate this for a second because I wanna separate the neck from the face. So I wanna separate it into two pieces, so I have two copies. I'm not slicing it because of the shape of this. There's no way I can get a shape that would cover just the neck or just the face easily. So I'm gonna contour. I want it in two pieces, so I need two copies. If I wanted it in three pieces, I would need three copies. So let's go to contour and select the neck. So we have just the face. So here's our face, see how easy that was? And then on this one, let's contour. We wanna hide all, um, so there's the face face. Hold on. What do we want? Oh, we want the neck on this one. So we want the neck. We don't want the face. There's our neck and there's our face. So let's duplicate this face for a second. Oops. I meant to duplicate. Sorry. Okay. And let's go to contour. I want to hide all. And the reason why I want to do this and I want this in black is because we have a 44 inch background. And so it's gonna be, there's gonna be lots of slices, seams everywhere. If there were seams going through the eyes and the mouth, um, even though we have her brown eyes covering it and the, the white iris and all that stuff, it's, there's still gonna be room to see the seams. So because it's easily fixable, I want I wanna do that. So let's arrange, send to the front. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We're basically making a copy of the face, but in black and contoured out. So like the eyes are, are all blacked out as well as the mouth because it's gonna go like this. So any seams that would have been here is now covered by that black piece. Um, this eye right here is not contoured out as well as the eyebrow because there's an opening. It's not an enclosed space, but we can fix that. So let's bring in a circle and we're gonna 
try to get it kind of just right there and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to close out right here as well. Okay, and I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld it. Now because it's enclosed, I can now go to contour and just contour out that little eye. And now I have a completely enclosed face, right? So arrange, send to the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, and there you have it. So any seams that we would have had before, we no longer have. Um, trying to think if I want this seam right here. I do. Okay. All right, so there is the face. We're all good there. What do we have left? We have just the pants and the background. Okay, so let's go look at the pants. Now the pants are 21 inches by 22. Let's separate this into, we got a contour basically. So let's zoom out. Bring this over here so it's a cleaner spot. Let's duplicate. Let's separate this into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. First one, let's contour. We're just going to go left to right. Okay. So I'm going to keep all of this over here. Let's um, hide all, and I want this piece left and this piece in. Let's see what we have here. So cool, uh, it's 13, okay. So let's duplicate that and let's separate this little triangle, okay, because it's 13 inches. So let's remove the triangle on this one. Okay, so it's 9.9 .9 by 11, so we're good there. We want the triangle. Let's hide all, we want the triangle, we don't want that, oops. Oh, for crying out loud there. All right, so here's my triangle, and then where does it belong? It belongs down here, okay. Let's do the next section, contour. Um, hide all, we want, let's just get the shoe. Oops, and I messed up. I don't want the rest of it. So go back to contour and remove this piece. There's my shoe. Let's get the next shoe. Contour, hide all. I want this shoe. I don't want this. So here's my other shoe. And I'll just bring it down, kind of keeping it in place so I know what we have. Contour, hide all. Let's do this top portion, which is this and this piece, and there's a little piece right there. Hold on, I don't want that. Um, it's a little triangle, is it this? No. Oh jeez, there, it's that piece. <laughs> okay, so we've got this piece, and this piece is also seamless. Let's go to the next one, contour. All right, so we want to hide all. <clears throat> I want this side right here. So I want that triangle, this, and this. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of that again. Contour, deselect this piece. All right, so here we go. We've got, oh, I already have a triangle on this one. Okay, so let's put it here and go to contour and get rid of the triangle because we already have that piece. All right, let's go to the next piece, contour. So hide all, let's do this little section over here. And does it go like, it goes like this. And we gotta get rid of that piece, I forgot again. <laughs> Contour, deselect this piece up here. All right, let's go. I think we only have the two big pant legs. Okay, hide all. I want the, oops, no, I want this piece. I don't want this piece. So see how contour is pretty cool, right? Um, 
6.45 by 14.18. We need to rotate it, and I'll talk about that in a second, but let's just finish this before I talk about that. Hide all, I want this pant leg. I don't want that. Okay. All right, so these two pant legs are still too big. This is 8.6 by 12.59. I'm gonna move it up here for a second. So the way design space measures width and height, they're going from the most top to the most bottom and the most left to the most right. So that means the same piece, this piece right here, I'm gonna keep here and duplicate just so that you can see, okay? I am going to rotate this. It's still the same piece, right? I didn't slice it or anything, but this piece is 8.6 by 12.59. Technically, you can't cut with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? But this piece, same piece, rotated, is now acceptable. It's 11.2 by 10.3 because I rotated. It's no longer, this is no longer the most high point. The most high point is here and the most low point is here. So the difference between these two spots, the distance is 10.3 instead of 12.59. All right, so I'm gonna delete this. <clears throat> I'm so sorry and I don't have any water next to me. All right, let's do this other pant leg. Where are you? Here we are. All right, so now it's 6.4 by 14.198. I'm gonna duplicate it again just so that you can see it side by side, okay? I'm gonna rotate this because our problem is the height. This is super high to the super low point is 14 inches. So I'm gonna rotate it. I rotated too much because now it's, um, or I didn't rotate enough yet. And now my highest point dropped a little bit. It's no longer this piece, but it's down here but it's still 12, so let's rotate a little bit more. There, 11.2 by 11.3, the same piece, right? And this looked like no way it's gonna cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I'm gonna delete that. This is all good now. Alrighty, what do we have left? Just, just the background. All right, so let's move all this over. So background is 44 inches by 25. So I'm gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock which means I'm gonna do a square 11 by 11 because I don't like dealing with half inches. So technically we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I'm gonna do 11. And in this case, 11 is fine because I'm the height is 44, so I'm gonna need four rows because four times 11 is 44. And then I'm gonna need three columns because the width is 25 inches. So 11 plus 11 is 22, I need another row, okay? Or another column. So let's put this here. Let's go, hold on, let me move her down just a little bit. All right, let's put her here and go to our position feature. We're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 3.5 becomes four, 3.8 becomes four. We're basically saying, for the X coordinate, which is the one going across, go over four units, go down four units. Here's the start of our square. We're gonna duplicate it, put it really close to it, and then round to the nearest whole number. 15.2 becomes 15, 4.1 becomes four. All right, and then we're gonna duplicate that, put that one right here. 26 and four. Now we have three squares completely flushed with each other. You're gonna hit the shift key and you're gonna grab all three squares. See how they're all highlighted? We're gonna duplicate it and put it down here. And it's already at four, so 15. Then we're gonna grab all six squares and duplicate and put it down here. All right, so let's go up to here. This becomes 26. We now have, hold on, this square is off. What happened? Four. That means, are all my squares off? It looks like it's slightly off. Hold on. Um, let's see, this is 15, 15, 26, 15, 26, 26. Yeah, this is off. What happened? I must have hit my key. All right. And that means this is slightly off. I don't know what I did. 
But it's nice when you round to the nearest whole number, then you can easily fix where there's gaps. We want them to be um, flushed because it's easy to piece things together when there's like a whole edge. You just slide them up next to each other. As soon as they hit, you tape. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is you want to make sure that there aren't any gaps or any overlays, right? Because then you're not going to know where to put your pieces. So this is why I do this. It's, it's very easy once you, once you get started. Okay, let's go find her. So scroll all the way down and I'm going to move myself up a little bit here so you can see it. So here's the black background. You want to select it and then you want to go to arrange, send to the front. Okay, so here she is. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and see where we cut off. So I, uh, do you see this little spot right here? It's going to cut right there. This is going to be a seam. So we don't want that. We want to move it over. We want big chunks, right? There's no reason why we should have little pieces here. So we want to make sure, for instance, like we don't want this where all of a sudden this little finger is cut off because that's a piece that you're going to have to keep track of. And we don't want to keep track of a small piece like that, nor do we want to try to tape something together like that. So I would want something like this. Um, I don't like that, jeez. And sometimes, you know, when a piece is so big, it's just gonna be what it is. Like, we can't help it. Um, so this is running straight down. Uh, all right, let's see what we have here. I think that's pretty good. We have a foot issue. Let's see if we move it down a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is arrange, send to the back, and we need to duplicate this one and this one and move it down. And it's easy to add the squares because we dealt with whole numbers. So the 14.9 becomes 15, 48, and we know they're flushed, okay? So now again, scroll over over here, grab the image, arrange, send to the front. And I think this is good. Um, all right, there's some pieces we don't need, so we could delete that now. Okay, I think that's it. So let's start slicing. I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, here we go. First square and the image. Slice. Slice. Don't worry how that piece disappeared. It's just a glitch in the system, no big deal. We're just gonna continue slicing all the way around. And I've sort of at this point lost track of where I am. <laughs> and it's kind of hard because I'm sitting um, away from my computer a little bit where my screen is. And um, oops, undo that. And so I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. All right, slice. Okay. Um, let's move her over a little bit. And I like to keep them in order so I know exactly where these pieces go later. All right, so this is still together. That's, uh, it didn't let me slice. Okay. So then we can get rid of the slice results. You can just grab it like that and delete. Okay. I'm gonna slice, slice. So let's move this over. And then grab all this and delete. Okay, slice. And I think that's it. So that piece. So these are all, you know, pretty sizable pieces. 
Nothing too small that we can't handle. Okay, cool, that's all one piece. And then this, and then we can grab all of this and delete. Okay, <clears throat> so let's save this and hope that it saves. I've had issues in the past. This is making me nervous that it's taking a while. Okay, it was saved, perfect. All right, so she's 44 inches, right? And pretty seamless. I'm gonna start a new project. You can either leave me right now and be happy with the way the project is. The next step that I'm gonna show you is to make just her hair black glitter cardstock, all right? But I'm gonna start a new project because I'm worried that if I bring in more things, the next time I go to save, it's gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna go home <laughs> and I do an, oops, new project. Upload, I'm gonna go get my Jasmine. So view all, you can see all my little projects that I've uploaded and you can see what's coming up too. I have a Barbie one that I need to do soon. Um, all right, so let's go get, okay, so here she is, insert image and 44 inches, right? That's another reason why I like to name my projects and how big it is because sometimes you're gonna need to do this or sometimes you're, I don't know, it glitches and you need to just redo one piece or two pieces, this is why. Um, okay, oh, and that reminds me, I want this piece to be gold. We'll go back to the other project. Okay, we have this, right? So let's ungroup it. What we wanna do is we sort of wanna isolate the hair from the rest of the image. So what I wanna do is let's grab the face, the skin, and hit shift and the black and slice. This will kind of help us, you see, it kind of gives us more, more of, um, of the hair, like the outline of the hair. Let's arrange and send to the back. Um, did I not do it? Send to the back. Okay, there. Now let's grab the blue and hit shift and the black background and slice. This should give us, I think, almost everything else that we need. Okay, so we still have the yellow. So let's, hold on. Um, click on that, arrange, send to the back. Let's do the yellow and the black background, slice. Okay, so we pretty much, we want this hair, this, this, and this, right? So let's get rid of all of this. We can just delete, we don't need that. Delete, okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna cause a break right here so that we can isolate the hair. So let's bring in a circle and we're gonna make it small. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there, okay? I'm gonna slice it. And this is what we need because we need a break, right? So that separates this hair from this. And we're gonna be doing that all the way around so that we can isolate the hair. So we're gonna bring in another square or another circle. I know my shapes, I swear I do. <laughs> all right, we're gonna cause a break right here. Oh, hold on, you know what, let me, let's duplicate that circle a few times and move it over here. Okay, so grab these two things and slice. Okay, so that's starting to separate this, right? Um, we wanna separate this hair down here. Oops. And it's nice because we sliced everything out earlier. It's easy to identify where the hair parts are. So I'll just continue to move all that over. Okay, so we've got that little piece out. We need a couple more of these circles. I know it's a chore, but it makes such a difference in your piece for it to be completely seamless because there's gonna be some seams in the hair if you remember. All right, so let's slice out this. 
right? So that's going to get us See, we're starting to isolate this piece. This piece is almost isolated, right? Oops, we could use this piece, it doesn't matter. That will get both of them actually, so that's pretty good. Let's grab these two things and slice. I'm moving it over, I'm trying to move it over and just delete all this. Okay, and let's move this back. So now this piece is actually ice, completely isolated. We can clean it up by getting rid of these things. Um, the hair. Um, all right, let's, let's finish doing this piece here. So let's grab that and isolate this hair right here. We need to do it here and here. And then we need to do it here. And because this is so thin later, you can just take your scissors. So you don't have to make this the hair perfect. And I'll show you what I mean. Once we've isolated a little bit more, um, I ended up when I did the big, the big one. Um, uh, let me move. All right, let's duplicate this a few more times. I need that. Let's delete this. Okay, we're almost there. Let's, this piece right here is almost done. Okay, so this piece is now isolated. This piece is isolated. We need to get this right here and then at least we can get rid of some of the, the background and make it make it a little bit easier for us to see what we're de dealing with. Okay, almost there, right there. Okay, let's grab these two things and slice. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna unlock it. And I'm gonna do this. I know it looks weird, but I'm just trying to get rid of some of the middle part. So let's slice this and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna contour and get rid of everything. So let's get rid of, hold on, all of this. Okay, so here let's contour. And let's just hide all. Click on the number to get to 100% easily. Let's get this hair, this. Why won't it let me get my hair? I got my, there. Hair, there, there, and I need this piece. I don't need this. Okay, so let's go back out. Um, and I don't need this. So you see we've really isolated the hair, right? <clears throat> we can clean this up a little bit more, but this piece right here, you could later, if you cut it exactly like this, you could take your scissors and just snip this off, okay? As well as this piece right here. Um, what we wanna do though is we wanna make sure that this is in separated pieces. So let's get our square and let's just separate separate out the pieces of hair. Okay, grab these two, slice. We could have contoured, but because the contour would have had all the other pieces, I opted not to do that. So that's that piece. Let's get this piece separated. And then we still have, I mean, that, that top piece of hair is still too big. So we need to do something about it. But these pieces, right, this is now 3.3 by 5 point something. Um, you know, this we could clean up right now. We could just do this and at least get rid of that long piece. Okay, 
grab this and delete. Okay, um, and same thing with this piece. Let's see, how big is this? 13.6 by 12.2. We could slice off this and this, so her top pair, or we could slice it right here. Okay, I think that's what I wanna do. Let's slice it right here. And I'm kind of doing a circle because I want it to kind of match with that line and that part. You won't really be able to see it because it's we're using black glitter cardstock. Um, but let's just slice this for now so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so we have that. I didn't really want to do that actually. So I have a slice here and here. Uh, you won't even notice it, that's fine. Let's see, this piece, this piece is now good too. So what we can do is, let's clean this up just a little bit. Oh, hold on. So we have this hair, and then I'm just gonna clean up this a little bit. I'm gonna rotate this. and slice. That just makes it a little bit cleaner. All right, let's see. Okay, what do we have? It's still a little bit too long. Oops, I went the wrong way, let's see. I did not slice this in the right place. I'm gonna to try to undo. Sorry. That was clunky, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going back. I normally would think that, I mean, this is just so minor because it's black glitter cardstock, you won't even notice. But since I'm trying to compare this one to the 48 inch, I feel like I need to do it correctly. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see. Let's break off the top from the bottom. So that one I do wanna do. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, undo. Oh, geez, come on. Here, let me do this. Let me weld this back together. Okay. And this is black. All right, what I wanna do is I want to do a slice here and here. So she's gonna have a top half of her hair and a bottom half, okay? So I'm gonna slice it. Let's see if I can do this. Now unlock it. See, it's going, oh, I can't even see what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> this stupid project. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get it right. It's so hard to see. I might have to do it in two pieces. That's what I should do. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm going to delete this. Why am I having such a hard time, someone? Actually, I'm gonna take a square. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna slice it right here, okay? Let's try to do that. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. All right, let's slice that. So when I'm slicing this, I want to be careful, so hold on. All right. So let's look at this. Um, it didn't let me contour. Why? Why am I having such a hard time? Oh, 
oh my gosh, okay, so let me think about this. Why, why, why? Okay, I'm gonna weld it. Okay, this piece is too big. Why am I having such a hard time? You know what? Let's contour. Let's put that headband back and let's slice it right here. Okay, I'm gonna slice it right there. Okay, so I'm sort of still back to my original problem. So here's this, that one's fine. This piece is still too big and I need to, let's see, it's 12.6. I need to cut another piece right here. So that's all. So let's just slice somewhere right here. Really doesn't matter. Grab these two items, slice. Okay, so move this over. Now this piece, I'm also going to move over a little bit. Let's see if I can get, come on. Why is it not letting me move? Okay, here we go. Okay, we have our hair. <laughs> Save, I don't know why, I was just not thinking. Jasmine, 44 inches, seamless, black glitter hair. So we're gonna cut it twice, okay? So we've got this one, let's save this. Let's go back to the other project really quickly because I wanna show you something. Let's. Where's my hair? We just did the hair and it's not here. Oh my God. Okay, so let's go to customize. I'm not gonna think about the hair right now. <laughs> let's just go back over here. Um, let's go to the make it screen because I wanted to show you something. So let's see. So here are our eyes. We separated the eyes so that we can make it more efficient, right? So you can do a number of things. Whatever scrap piece you have, you can you know move things around, right? Here's the brown, same thing with the brown. Maybe you have a scrap that's this big. Okay, this, we have a lot of room right here. So let's see where we can move some things. We can move this arm, click on this, three dots, move object. And let's, I feel like we can fit it here. So there's one arm, we can move this and this. And then move this arm, maybe turn it. Okay, there. So we can move this back. Um, we can do something like this. And there's still room for up here if there's anything else. Oh, and there is her neck. Let's uh, move object. I think this will fit with the face. We could do that. Okay, that fits. Um, I mean, you could do something like this, whatever. <laughs> uh, here's her yellow. I would probably do something like this, yeah. So that the next time I have really usable space. I have a little portion here that I can save, but I can save this big portion. This five by 12 gold glitter cardstock would go really well. All right, so here's our black. Okay. All right, we can definitely move things. So let's move this one. And we can move it back, let's see. 
probably could move it here. Yep, right. So let's see, what else do we have? We have this. We have this and this, and I feel like we can move, let's try to move this one to over here. I think that will fit. Oh, it's so close. It cuts off her fingers. So if you make a mistake like that, you just click on the three dots again, move object, and you move it somewhere else. So we can move it, it's pretty big. I wonder if it can fit on here. Oh, it can. Okay, so we saved some space. Here's the blue. So interesting that it did this to us. We can move all this down. So remember that we can move, we can shift the pant leg and just move everything down so we can kind of see what we have. This is close. There. So this will fit 12 by 12. I would still use 12 by 24 mats because that's the cheapest. Um, I buy it in bulk and when it's on sale. So it ends up being like two something for a 12 by 12 piece of mat. So that's what I do. Um, all right, so this one, same thing, we need to twist this around to make sure it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because I don't have, come on, dude. There. Um, that's fine. So actually over here, we can move these things over. Um, is there room up there? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, and then we can move this to the other. Oh, there's still plenty, all right. We can move it here. We can move this shoe. up here okay um, all right so this actually ends up being just a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock this one two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock just make sure there's nothing in that 12 line right like you don't want this because that's gonna be on two separate pieces of cardstock right okay just want to make sure um, this is still good we still have empty space here this piece is pretty big, so nothing we can do there. And this piece is pretty big. Um, can the two pieces be together? I don't know. And then here's this. It's big, so I mean, we tried to save as much as we can, and I think we did a really good job. I'm just looking at it to see if there's anything else that we could have done. I think that's it, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. So if you have any comments or questions, please post them. And if you have a special request, let me know. I am so curious right now. I'm gonna go back to the homepage. My hair, it's not here. We saved it and you saw it. I will redo it, but I'm gonna piece this together and it's gonna look amazing. This is the size that we should do it, 44 inches, all right? Okay, see you next time, bye.